what is Google TV? Often I get questions about they have Google TV on their cell phone. Sometimes they have a device they plug in their TV and they get Google TV. Or sometimes people even have it on their TV. I'm Ron Brown. This is Tech for Senior, where we help seniors understand technology and Google TV. So we're going to explain today what actually is t Google TV and hopefully sort out any questions that you have. We'd sure appreciate that. Like and subscribe. Let's get on with the video and see what Google TV is. Today we're going to talk about five TVs I've selected. Now, once you understand the concept, you can apply this concept to any televisions out there. But the five that I've chosen to talk about today are Samsung, Sony, Amazon, TCL, and Hisense. So those are the five TVs that we're going to discuss. Now, before we start, I want to talk a little bit about what a smart TV is. Now, some of the TVs that we're discussing today have an option. When you initially turn the television on, you get a question and it says, it says, do you want a dumb TV or do you want a smart TV? Now, if you choose a dumb TV, then basically you have a device, your television, that you plug a cable connection into it and it will display, of course, your TV, like we used to use many, many years ago. Or, or, or you can use an over-the-air antenna on there and that's it. That's all you have. There's no software on there. It's plugging in and it's getting the information coming from those input devices. But if you choose a smart TV, like most of you probably will, and sometimes it just turns on and it's a smart TV, then what you really have is a computer with a display. So you would have, uh, you, you think of it as a television, but it isn't. It's a computer, but most important, it has an operating system in it. Yes, there's an operating system in the TV, and that goes to a display, which is, of course, the the big screen that you see when you're watching television. So each television has a operating system. And you know what an operating system is. You probably have heard of Windows. Windows is an operating system that occurs on your PC. If you have a Mac computer, then you'll have the Mac operating system on the computer. They're different. Windows is different from Mac. So each television has its own operating system. So let's have a look at our five TVs again, and we're gonna go over what those operating systems are. So Samsung, for all Samsung TVs, the operating system is Tizen, T-I-Z-E-N. Now, for the Sony TV, it uh, depends on what year, but in the last five years, Sony's operating system has been, you guessed it, Google TV. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Now for the Amazon TV, is called a Fire OS. And then, of course, we come to TCL. Well, here's where it gets a little interesting. TC TCL can have two operating systems. Depends on which TV you buy. You can have two identical TVs on TCL, and one TCL will have a Roku operating system, and the other will have a Google operating system. So you have your choice. And if you go to Best Buy or Costco and you're looking at the identical TCL TV, a 55 inch, let's say, then you will have your choice on the box. You'll see that it either is a Google TV, which means it has the Google operating system or the Roku. It'll be a Roku TV and it'll have the Roku operating system. And then, of course, uh, we would go to Hisense and Hisense. Again, you will find that it either has the Roku operating system, or it could also have a Google operating system. <laughs> so what operating system is the best when you go to purchase a TV? Which one should you be looking for? Let me give you some advice. The first thing is when you go to purchase a TV, most of you will be looking at the screen resolution and how brilliant the screen is. You should also consider the operating eating system as a major purchase consideration. Let me explain why. So I have five TCL TVs in my house. I have a big house 
And about five years ago, I decided to replace my TVs and I put all TCL TVs in my house. And the reason I bought TCL TVs is I thought they were good TVs, but I wanted one single style of remote. I didn't want to have to explain to my wife in each room that had a different TV on how to explain on how each remotes work. So I wanted to limit the confusion by having all the same TVs and all the same remotes. Now, fast forward, uh, two years ago, I did replace the television in our kitchen and I replaced it with an Amazon TV. And the reason I did that is because, of course, I have a ring doorbell and I have Miss A devices all throughout the house. Now, I wanted to integrate my television into the my home automation and that's why I bought the Amazon TV. But for sure, the next reason you should consider um, the operating system is because of home automation. As we move forward over the next five years, home automation is going to be a big factor and a big deal. So I think that if you are uh, a Miss A person, I don't want to say that because everybody's Miss A device will, of course, uh, go off. But if you are a Miss A device person like I am, then I certainly would think that a Fire OS or an Amazon TV would be a good option. And when I did this three years ago, when I bought my Amazon TV, that was really the only way that you could get your TV connected to your Ring doorbell. But now in 2025, we're seeing almost all the modern TVs that are produced are Miss A enabled. So life is changing a bit there as well. So, but also if you are uh, running down the Google plan of home op automation and all your devices are Google, then maybe there's an advantage in using the Google OS to integrate your home automation. So I figure this is a critical role you have to look at in your purchase con consideration on televisions. More time, you have a TV and you have an operating system. It's important that you know what the name of that operating system is. Now let's suppose that maybe you have a Google TV and you want to maybe add some features that with, with Miss A that aren't available on your Google TV. It just doesn't want to work. So you say, well, can I make this into a Fire TV? Can I make this into an Amazon TV using the Fire OS that we talked about? Well, now let's talk about four devices that you can connect to your TV to change the operating system. And this is very easy to do. And these four that we're going to talk about, I'm sure you've heard, uh, Roku, Fire Stick, Chromecast, or Google Streamer, as we call it now, and of course, Apple TV. These companies make these four devices that are physical devices that you can purchase and you can connect them to your TV, usually through an HDMI or USB port. So your TV, most modern TVs will have multiple inputs and these multiple inputs are usually HDMI and, and that's the connection that connects to your TV. And these uh, devices will come on uh, there'll be little boxes or dongles or sticks or whatever they are, but they will connect onto the HDMI input port of your television. So when you want to connect it to a different operating system, or you could connect it, think of it as a different, different PC or whatever you want to think of it as a different device. You simply choose on the input of your TV to that. You just select it to the device you want. And bingo, you now have your TV is running on a different operating system. That's pretty cool. So let's talk about Roku. Roku has been around for a very long time. You either can purchase a TV that has a Roku operating system, as we discussed. But if you don't, then you can buy a Roku device. And this would plug into the HDMI port of your TV. Now, the only advice I can give you, and this is pretty much advice for all the TVs, most of you now will be buying modern TVs that are powerful, 4K, and do some pretty incredible things. 
Uh, these devices, such as Roku and Fire Sticks, have been around a very long time. And some of them, if you have a bunch of old ones sitting in a drawer, they're not going to work very good with your new TV. So my advice is to uh, head over to your favorite TV store uh, and, and get a new modern one and talk to the salesman and probably look at the, the because they often come with a lot of different capabilities depending on how much RAM, et cetera, is in these, these devices. So you, you really want to get a good one so that it works well with your brand new TV. Don't take the old one out of the drawer. All right, so we have Roku, then we have Fire Stick. Fire Stick's been around for a long time. It contains the Fire OS. Again, you can just buy one of these and plug it into a Google TV. And again, uh, when you connect, when you change your HDMI input to, a Fire, to your Fire Stick, you will then be running on Fire OS. The same thing uh, is true with Chromecast. Now you probably have heard of Chromecast. Chromecast is Google's device uh, and it has been replaced. It was discontinued in August of 2024 streaming TV. It's called a Google TV streamer and is available um, for sale for just over, depending, just over $100, depending on what country you're in. We then, of course, have Apple TV. Again, you can plug your Apple TV in a device. And again, you have the Apple operating system running your TV. So you have all these devices now uh, that you can purchase in addition to your television that you can connect to your TV and change the operating system. All right, so we have televisions with specific operating systems. We now have devices that we can add to the televisions, like I just discussed, that have operating different operating systems on those devices. So that gives us great flexibility. The last thing, of course, we have is your phone. Now, all Android and iPhones will easily connect to your TV. Uh, all modern TVs make it very easy for you to connect your phone and project onto the TV. This is called casting, and it allows uh, you to watch videos and have them played on the TV. So yes, all the services are available through your phone. So now we have, yes, they could be on your TV, they could be on one of those devices, or they could be on your phone. Lots of choices. <laughs> all right, let's uh, look at my Google TV app on my Pixel 8 Pro. The app is here. It's the uh, It's got a square television looking um, design. So let's click this. And this brings uh, me up to the um, Google TV app. App and you can see it up on the left hand side here. It says Google TV. Now, what I want you to do is I want you to look down before we get into the app. I want you to look and see it's this um, this button here. This says uh, this is where we're going to cast this to a nearby TV. If we click this uh, this TV button, it's going to look for a device. And here you'll see my living room TV. I'm going to click this. And this is going to then enter a code uh, shown on your TV, and you're going to enter this code into the um, system here on your app. And this is then going to be casted to your TV. So that is, uh, hopefully will explain the differences between the different services and how they work on your television. Now this, I haven't of course mentioned uh, all the TVs, but all smart TVs will have an operating system. You just have to figure out what it is, and then you can make the adjustments accordingly. It's Ron Brown with Tech for Senior. Hopefully you've enjoyed this video. Please remember that like and subscribe, and we'll see you again soon.